So this is Corey, uh, the creator of SAS Pegasus. And today I wanted to show you what it's like to start a new project with Pegasus. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to sign in to uh, saspegasus.com. And uh, you'll see I've already purchased a license, so I'm not gonna show that. Um, but here now I'm on the projects page, uh, and this is where all your Pegasus projects will live. Uh, so you can keep track of them uh, right here on the site. And I'm going to create a new project. Uh, so the project I want to make today is is for planning a wedding, um, and so I'm just going to enter in some details about the project. I'll use the name wedding plan. Uh, I'm going to set a slug, which is like your Python ID, uh, to that. I'll add a description, maybe the best play to plan your big day. And um, I'm gonna leave a lot of these uh, just sort of to the default values. Um, these are all different options that Pegasus uh, will use either uh, in your settings or to, to enable or, or disable certain code for you um, to build with certain code there or not. Um, a few things I'm gonna change, I'm gonna use the Postgres database instead of SQLite. Um, I'm going to use the Bulma CSS framework. I'm going to enable Docker for development. Uh, I'm going to use subscriptions, which will allow me to collect uh, paid subscriptions with Stripe. I'm going to turn on Google login, and I'm going to use Teams, which will add uh, team-based collaboration to, to my application, um, which I'll show in another screencast. And, and finally, I'll, I'll choose uh, Heroku for my deployment platform, and Pegasus will uh, generate everything I need to, to quickly deploy to Heroku. So I'm going to save it. Uh, you can see my project has been added here. Uh, and now all I have to do is download my code. Uh, so I'm going to download the code. Um, Pegasus will use all of that configuration that I just added and create a project that has the uh, exact code base uh, specifically built built for this project. Um, so it looks like that's done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. Uh, and then I'm just going to uh, extract that here. And so you can see uh, Pegasus has created this folder using that project ID that we entered. Um, and in here, you're going to find uh, what is a standard Django code base, uh, just with a lot of other stuff added for you. Um, so you can see there's you know, your, your manage.py here, your static files, your templates, um, your settings in here. Um, and I'll, I'll go through the code in another, another screencast. Uh, but for now, I just want to get up and running. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a terminal. And I just want to run make init. And make init is a script that Pegasus provides, uh, which will, using Docker, it will build your Docker containers. It will install all your uh, Python dependency for you. It will create your database migrations. It will run your database migrations. And then it will start your server. So now let's go back to the browser. And I'm just going to go to localhost. And you can see that my app is up and running. Uh, so you can see some of the stuff that I entered when I was configuring it up is now showing up here. Um, I can create an account. And log in. And I'm in. And so you can see here now some of the stuff that I configured, the team access, the subscription is, uh, is all available here. Uh, and I'm not going to walk through uh, all the functionality that comes with the Pegasus app. That'll happen uh, in a later screencast. Um, but I did just want to show how simple it is to, to get up and running with, with a brand new uh, fully functional SaaS application. So thank you.